very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we just wanted to make sure that you are updated with our signals on the premium signals group as you can see uh, May 6th on Wednesday we have sent these signals and thankfully all of them except for the cat GPY has reached the target cat GPY we sent the announcement with the clo uh, to close it with 15 pips of loss only meanwhile other signals in the DCHF 20 pips of profit pound USD 120 pips of profit in the DUSD 50 pips of profit and later on AUDUSD 50 pips of profit as well then yesterday we sent these four signals however we noticed that the market has went in high volatility and it was suddenly unstable and therefore we decided that we should close all of them with break even however those who kept these trades running the four trades they actually went all of them in a deep deep profit and that can be shown here with this message we had we have received from one member he's saying thank you angela for the reliable forex signals even though you advise to close all of them uh, the, uh, after the market went abnormal condition i'm still getting profit yes indeed all of these signals has indeed went in profit later on and it's okay we're happy because we kept our uh, clients safe and their money was safe as well we will not risk their money and hopefully it's gonna continue keep going like that so again it was the the week is actually still going uh, very well and we are doing good uh, this week so far I will update you on the results uh, on the next weekly analysis video however if you wish to join the extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in this in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there okay so let's now move to the live trading session and as usual let me just confirm to you first that this is indeed my live account uh, let me just uh, drag this one here a little bit to the bottom and I want to hide where the account number will be displayed just wanted to confirm to you that this is indeed my live account on IC markets live server number 12 so this is the live account all the live trading sessions you are seeing on my channel are happening on the live account oh shit mm. uh guys just give me please one second i'll be back to you after fixing the recorder one second all right so it looks good right now let me clean this one and fix this one okay now let's try to find together guys any good setups that we can use uh in today's live trading session actually as i said uh, we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy that means we need to look first at setups on the four hour chart and let's take a look at the pound aud Pound AUD right now is at the absolute lowest level of the previous support as you can see remember we are on the <clears throat> four hour chart and we can see that here the line I draw is at the absolute absolute lowest level of the support so we are having here already a support number one right now the market seems ranging on support number two I need to quickly switch to the 30 minute time frame <coughs> and i don't really see any good entry on the 50 uh, or the sorry on the 30 minute time frame let me move to the 15 minute time frame if not let me move to the five minute time frame nothing wrong at all as long as you are just trying to find the best level to enter the trades actually i'm convinced that this is actually uh, a good level to start buying the pair we are seven pips uh, late um if you look uh, carefully we can see that on the five minute time frames we are having here a support level and right here it was a support and we are having here this engulfing uh, engulfing or engulf bullish breakout candle actually the pair is rising at the moment i think i'm going to place the buy order i think i think that should be totally fine yes that should be totally fine uh that the trade has been placed uh, in the right level let me just also explain the reason why because right now the pair is uh, is stuck between uh, a support and let me just show you we are right now actually in a support zone what I saw here right now is this zone of the support 
and here we can see this zone of the support and right now as I said after this bullish engulfing candle the pair is still inside this support zone so the pair meaning that means that the pair most likely is going to continue rising all the way up at least until hitting this previous resist resistance that is at least so it doesn't seem that the pair is able to actually go below this support zone at all even when the pair tried or make an attempt to go below the support it made the immediate jump and it continue the rising above this support zone so since uh, I'm using the 20 pips a day strategy let me now just set my take profit to be exactly at the highest uh, level of this resistance because I'm aiming 20 pips from this red and that is uh, almost 20 pips uh, profit we are gonna get hopefully from this trade at this rate after analyzing the pair on the four hour chart and the five minute time frame as well i don't see the pair is able to break out or actually uh, go below this support zone it's actually a good practice um the whole con the whole concept of hit and run and the 20 pips a day strategy is relying on the bigger time frame to know where is your level in the market and then you go to the smaller time frame to know exactly where you can place your buy or sell that's the point so it doesn't really matter what time frame uh, you are using you can even use the weekly with the four hour chart it's it, it works both of them work actually so I'm trying to try to find any other good uh, trade I'm keeping my eyes on the pound AUD so far it's going in a good profit uh, by the way I need to, for to check how much profit we are expecting from this trade $76 that should be more than fine so go back to the 4 hour chart and I'm trying to actually find any good setup that uh, shows a clear support and resistance with attempt number 1 or 2 uh, so far all right let's check the cat gpy cat gpy is showing me something very interesting as we can see this is the previous resistance uh, level right here which has been followed later by this bearish breakout candle that means this resistance most likely is gonna keep its position as a resistance now of course we need to confirm since now we are in the four hour chart and we know this is the level of a resistance we just need to confirm on 30 minute time frame if I can indeed place the buy order right here and yes 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 fantastic really good entry let me just uh, to show you the reason my friends as I said before on the four hour chart as I said now we are now on the very same level of a previous resistance level here all right so that has been checked that this resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance and that is on the four hour chart so that has been checked now let's move to the th smaller time frame let's move to the 30 minute time frame now on the 30 minute time frame what we can see right here is this previous support level and the market is exactly at this previous support level check it out not to mention that also the very same level was also a strong resistance in the past most likely that means that the pair is gonna actually uh, reverse right at this point and look at that now the candle is going up a little bit and that is of course normal because looking at the previous candle this candle here we can notice that the candle has or the market went up all the way until it hit this highest level of the week most likely what will gonna happen right now is the market is gonna make another attempt just to hit the, the highest same level of the week and then after that it's gonna reverse so I'm expecting actually uh, that this candle is gonna end or close as a bearish uh, break uh, as, as a bearish candle it's gonna be a red candle the market is gonna close and the market is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous resistance so this is the normal behavior that the market is gonna reverse at the resistance retest the broken uh, resistance here and then gonna continue growing or continue rising sorry 
so that will be interesting i want to keep my eyes on this thread therefore i'm gonna pause this video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this with these two trades looking at the chfgpy i'm finding also another very good setup and i placed the sell order and for some reason yes okay good sometimes uh, it happens anyway uh, we can see that we are having here the highest level of the previous resistance and notice that also the very same level was the lowest level of a support as well now as i'm telling you always i'm not expecting from the market to fall all the way down like that i'm just expecting it to give me uh, like a shock uh, of touching this level that is the behavior of the candles or the market when when the market reaching the highest level of the resistance there will be a reaction on the candle it will make like a shock reaction it's gonna reverse then after that reverse the market actually might continue falling down or might just reverse at this previous resistance and continue rising either way most of the time the normal behavior of the of the candles is the reversal so i'm going to just set my take profit level to be 20 pips exactly like that that is 20 pips and i think it's going to continue uh, falling more actually to this previous support level right here and then gonna reverse and continue the rising however i don't care for that what i care is i want to get these profits the profits from all these trades so right now the trades are running in loss as you can see that's totally normal let's just wait some time and i'll be back to you let me now pause this video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these opened trades just wanted to show you this uh, support zone i have drawn front of you about the oh, sorry on, on the pound aud please pay attention to the candle the candle is not able to break out from the support zone that zone is strong and look look at the candle the candle is trying so hard to break out of it however um the strength of this support here is indicating that this support zone is really strong and the market most likely will fail in breaking out of it and i believe that the pair is going to continue rising all the way at least to hit the highest top of this resistance as i mentioned earlier so that is a good practice as you can see look at that the market is really not able to go below that support zone that's important for those who are getting uh, freaked or actually um, emotional when they see the trade going against them uh, it helps them if they draw the support and the resistance zones to be clear exactly where they can expect the market to reverse please check it out the candle is reversing right now as i told you it did not it also it was not able to break out from that support zone that indicates that the market is indeed gonna continue rising one other thing i just wanted to mention to the guys here um, that as you can see i'm entering three trades in front of you but please don't do the same just enter one trade per day only as you know it is called 20 pips a day strategy not three day three trades a day strategy so uh, allow me now again guys to pause the video and i'll be back to you later to show you the final results of these three trades all right so as you can see my friends all the trades are going in very good profit so far uh look at the pound aud as i told you is growing up as keep rising actually i'm thinking to close it right now because it is hitting this level of the resistance and i'm gonna close it right now and accept this profit because as i told you there is the resistance level right here and most likely the pair won't exceed that resistance level checking now the cad gpy it's also going in profit 12 pips of profit it's hitting the, the previous resistance 71 dollars of profit and i have taken that all um let me tell you about uh, chf gpy chf gpy also on the five minute time frame is approaching let me close it right now because as i said we also have to be realistic about our uh, trades look at that we are having right here a previous resistance so there was a chance that the chf gpy might actually reverse look at that now it's reversing indeed it might reverse after hitting that resistance so okay it didn't reverse now however we always have to be safe don't ever be greedy i have gained uh, approximately 130 dollars uh, 
profit from these three trades in very short time only like uh, 12 minutes so that was a really good session and it was useful it was a uh, good session i think so it helped you guys to understand how we can always use that 20 pips a day strategy and in very short time picking the right setups and the right pairs we can make some really good profit so it was a short video as uh, as I said, I don't want to make so much long videos, just wanted to share with you my live trading session for today. So in the end guys, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.